Welcome to our MSIX series. Today we'll deep dive into MSIX technology, exploring its benefits and comparing it with other packaging formats. We will also discuss how MSIX changes the landscape of application deployment. Now, MSIX is the latest packaging format from Microsoft, designed to modernize application deployment on Windows, and this technology encapsulates applications in a way that ensures consistency, security, and simplicity. But what makes MSIX stand out? First, let's delve into the benefits of MSIX. The first one is application separation. One of the significant evolutions in application deployment is the separation of components. MSIX separates applications from the OS, which reduces conflicts and improves system stability. This means fewer crashes and a smoother experience for the end users. Jumping to simplified updates, we know that updating applications can often be a headache. With MSIX, Updates are streamlined, ensuring that applications are always current without the usual hassle of uninstalling and reinstalling. MSIX also offers enhanced security. Because MSIX applications run in a secure container, which limits their access to the system. This containment helps protect the system from potential threats and ensures that applications do not interfere with each other. And the last one, which we can point out, is the reduced disk usage. Now, MSIS optimizes disk usage by sharing common files between applications. This means less redundancy and more efficient use of the storage. How does MSIX compare with traditional formats like EXE and MSI? Now, if we compare them both and we start with the EXE installers, the EXE installers are often opaque, making it challenging to manage and customize installations. They act like black boxes, performing various operations with little transparency. Keep in mind that also inside a managed infrastructure, the best scenario or the best approach with EXE installers is to try to repackage them as MSI installers and we have more details on that on our website or you can check our MSI packaging books to understand why and how you need to do this. Now looking at the MSI installers, they offer more transparency and manageability but lack the modern benefits of containerization that MSIX provides. So MSIX combines the best of both worlds, right? Offering transparency, manageability, and modern containerization benefits. Now, MSIX falls under the umbrella of modern packaging techniques, which includes application virtualization, which is a technique that allows applications to run in isolated environments, reducing conflicts with other software. Also, we have application layering, which separates the application from the OS, allowing it for easier updates and management. And lastly, again, we need to talk about application containers because containers encapsulate the application, ensuring it runs consistently across different environments. MSIX is a prime example of this technology. Now, these techniques ensure applications are treated as individual components, enhancing deployment flexibility and reliability. But why package applications? Where packaging applications simplifies life for the end users by customizing your applications because you can tailor your application to meet the specific needs of an organization, improving functionality and user satisfaction. Next, you have your increased productivity by simplifying application deployment and use end users who are often not IT professionals, right, um, can focus on their work without technical distractions. And packaging also provides enhanced security because it reduces the need for admin credentials limiting security risks. I'm not saying that per machine installations do not require admin credentials, usually inside an organization the packages are deployed via various deployment mechanisms, the most popular ones being Microsoft Configuration Management or the former known ACCM, or the new and modern Cloudway with Intune. Now, let's talk a bit about handling dependencies. 
A key aspect of packaging is managing dependencies, such as DLLs for an example. Now there are two approaches, you can either separate or include them. Now when we talk about separation, we talk about delivering dependencies independently. This method ensures that share components are managed separately, which is reducing conflicts. On the inclusion side, we can build dependencies within the package. Now, this approach simplifies the deployment, but requires careful management to avoid conflicts. Both methods have their pros and cons and the choice depends on the specific needs and practices of the organization. But most likely, as in many organizations out there, people are trying to separate the dependencies and keep them updated separately from the main packages. Now, the organizations which use what I mentioned earlier, Configuration Manager or Intune, to deploy their apps as repackaged MSIs, as mentioned, usually prefer the separation approach. So let us have a small chat about spoofs, redirections and overlays. Modern runtimes like MSIX use techniques such as spoofs, redirections and overlays. Now, in reality, everything which we do in the modern application runtimes technically fall under the spoof category. Now, we can define a spoof as something that intercepts an action, a function, a call, anything and alters the requested action or result. In MSIX terms, a package support framework shim, which intercepts a Windows API call and modifies it, implements various kinds of spoofs. When we talk about redirection, this is more or less a particular popular form of spoof because this is used against calls to the file system or registry. What it basically does, it takes a file path or a registry key as requested by the application and in essence it says I know you asked for this but I'm going to give you this other thing instead. It allows for your traditional code to not know that it's not running in a modern environment. It might think that it's installed in the default C program files blah blah folder while all of the files are located wherever the modern app puts them. A common use of redirection, which is used in several modern systems, involves a folder called VFS or Virtual File System, along with subfolders with specific names that refer to an equivalent unredirected location. Thus, VFS program files x64 vendor name it's actually equal to the c program files vendor name app folder that the app might request now when we talk about overlays we actually talk about layers layers are a visual analogy used to describe the concept of how modern runtime system act layers add or replace parts of what the application sees without altering the underlying system if we have a look over this illustration of a virtual application, this is used to describe the layering concept and it's called panes of glass, whereby a piece of software depicted in the image as an application sees the system throughout a series of glass panes. When items are placed on a glass pane, they can add to or replace parts of what the application would see without them. This makes a nice visual, but of course it's a little bit more complicated for example, items written to the upper layer can be used only by the application and often we want settings and data to be usable outside of this application. So while some information needs to be written to that layer, other pieces need to be allowed to be written to system locations such as the documents folder, cloud sharing folders, home drives, network shares and so forth and so on. So as a general rule, the runtime systems generally use the presence of items in the application layer to make its determination. The layering concept, by default, it's implemented by using redirections. Redirections may be implemented in the runtime as user mode intercepts or kernel filter drivers. Some runtime systems employ both techniques in different areas. Uh, for example, in a redirection, the request by an application to perform an operation such as opening a file with a certain file path is examined and the request is redirected to a different locations which we think of 
like one of those panes of glasses. But in reality, this is just a different location on the system, but it's easier to just think of it as a glass pane. Now, these techniques ensure that the applications can run in isolated and controlled environments, improving stability and security. When we talk about Microsoft commitment to MSIX, now Microsoft is making a significant one. They aim to make MSIX the preferred format for software vendors, overtaking the ubiquitous MSI. For software vendors, this means staying current and taking advantage of the new OS features that are possible with MSIX. For customer, MSIX promises simpler customizations, secure and safe installs, and more stable applications. As a conclusion, MSIX is supposed to revolutionize the application deployment with its combination of security, efficiency, and manageability. As we continue this series, we'll explore the fundamental technologies, tools, packaging techniques, and deployment strategies that makes MSIX a powerful tool for IT professionals. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the MSIX packaging. Join us in the next video as we will explore the architecture and components of MSIX. See you next time.